All right, I'm probably making this a new video or something, but we're back with uh, Girl Lancer. We're gonna try this again. Uh, at the end of the last mission, I got a crash, and I basically, all I did was, we saw all the cutscenes, but it just black screened me and it froze. I tried to look into an issue on how to, or issue, I tried to look into how to fix it, but uh, there were a couple things I came up with. There was a game fix um, that stops games freezing on the same frame, so we'll see if that works. Um, some other stuff I learned is that apparently this game is like, really rough when it comes to being compatible with PCSX2. Apparently it will crash in two main instances. The first one is saving. Saving just barely works in this game. So we're probably just going to rely on save stating for this playthrough. I won't bother with the save slots, which is lame, but you do what we must, you know? We do what we must. Um, and the second thing is, apparently when you complete a mission, a mission complete screen comes up. Apparently if you press X, it will make it crash from what I've read. So this game is weird with PCSX2, but we're going to make it work because I really want to play Grow Lancer. It's a pretty fun game so far. We carried out the mission and have returned, sir. Oh, yes. Good work. Let's hear the report. Yes, sir. I also up the audio a bit because I think the... I might have said this in the last video, but in case I didn't, I think the first three videos are on the quieter side, so I upped the sound effects and voices and everything up. Hopefully the volume's better. The area to the west hid an ancient ruin where the monsters were hiding. After a short battle, we destroyed them, eliminating the threat. I see. Consider your work here done, then. Return to the capital at once. But, but sir, isn't this area too dangerous to leave unguarded? While you were investigating the ruins, another squad defeated Venzern. So the state of emergency has been lifted. So the war is over? Yes, I was just about to dismiss the mercenaries. I'll take that as my cue to move on. Ah, oh, goodbye. You have developed into a fine young man, Maximilian. Just like your father. But... Uh, no need for modesty. You have developed skills and abilities that would have made your father proud, had he lived to see this. Thank you, sir. If you'll excuse me now, I must check the other stations. And remember, I'm counting on you two to become our top knights. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. I didn't realize Wayne was going to say it. Thank you, sir. Wait, was, uh, is Wolfgang Maximilian's father? So, is that all there is? Or did he just mean he's father? Knights now? Did I miss something? Or did he just say Maximilian's father? Do we know Maximilian's father? Yeah, we're both knights. That's great. All that remains now is an official ceremony, I suppose. Why don't you voice those lines, Wayne? Yes, but knighthood is just the beginning for us. If we continue talking, we will never officially even be knights. Right now, we should return to the kingdom capital. Now that our exam is over, I shall travel with you as an associate rather than one under your command. In that capacity, I suggest we leave at once. All right. Cool, so I don't know where I'm going. South Starburg? Should probably talk to some people. What are you doing here? Aren't you the king? Where are your intendants? <laughs> I suppose I'm not very good at hiding my identity. Yes, I'm the king. You need to get back to the castle at once. The guards and attendants are frantic, frantic looking for you. You're right, I suppose. I came out to help with the war effort firsthand and was a bit late to the party. Okay, let me see about some rings we got. Gems, yeah, that's what they're called. Can't equip these. I thought I got gems. I could have sworn I got gems. So, also, we're gonna rely on the bit of auto saving for making this playthrough work. I want to probably go to the capital here. Maximilian Schneider, Wayne Cruz, rise to address His Majesty. With the power granted me as king, I hereby anoint you as holy knights of the Bernstein Kingdom. I just saw you. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, sir. From this day forward, you toil not for yourselves, but for the well-being and security of the Bernstein Kingdom. Certainly, yes, your Majesty. Bernstein Kingdom Outlook. It almost seems impossible that it's been three years since we entered the Academy together. The careers that will define our lives begin now. 
And since our paths are divergent, we will not see each other as frequently. I must admit, I'll miss our conversations about how best to secure peace for the world. And I shall miss watching you practice swinging your weapon a thousand times as punishment for being late to class. Well, who's more foolish? The one who is late to class, or the one that watches that one perform the punishment over and over? I somehow think that we will soon long for these simpler times. This world is rapidly changing, and it is up to us to make certain that it is for the better. True. The change is coming faster than we know. Just today I heard from Lord Reeves that Lord Lyle was expelled from the country. I can only speculate as to why. I'm certain they know what they're doing. However, it surprised me somewhat because Lord Lyle was sentenced to die. To merely expel him was quite a generous act. It appears that the ranks of the Imperial Knights are rapidly thinning. Precisely. This looks like your golden opportunity, Wayne. Uh. I'm being a main character. I sure am going to miss you, Max. It's not as if we'll never see each other again. Cheer up. I guess you're right. Oh, I almost forgot. The exchange. We can't break with Academy tradition. Right. We need to exchange a memento to uphold the graduation tradition. This was handed down to me by my father. I know it will serve you well. The level 8 hyper attack acquired? Nice. Max, your father meant this as a trust for you. It's too valuable to give away. Wayne, my goal is to create a world that does not rely on the power of these gems. A world without war. However, if I fail in my efforts, this gem will best serve in your capable hands. I trust that one way or another, through your efforts or mine, we shall achieve the peace we both crave. Maximilian, I will use this gem to become one of the Imperial Knights, I promise. Of that, I have no doubt. I know you're supposed to choose the item to trade, but I was wondering if I could request... Well, I would like your ocarina. I'm sorry, Max. I can't be without this. <laughs> what a weird... Like, hey, I would like to request one of your most valuable possessions just because I gave you mine. I mean, you chose to give me it? Really? Is it valuable? It has no monetary value to speak of, but I made a promise when I was very young. A promise? Yes, this ocarina belonged to a girl I met ten years ago. We always met at a specific time and place. The last time I went, she was not there, but this ocarina was. It was strange and sad, but I promised never to part with the ocarina. In fact, the only song I can play is the one I learned from her. Hmm. Well, I suppose I should ask for something else, then. How about just playing a song, then? Sure, I'd be happy to. I swear it sounds just like Lunar. Hearing that song brings back so many memories. I can remember the first time we met. Our Academy Oath. Everything. It seems like yesterday. The difficult war between Rolandia, Ranzac, and Bernstein Kingdoms ended at the time Wayne graduated from the Officer's Academy. The tenuous peace that followed was safeguarded by a select few knights of distinguished service. In order to remain prepared to safeguard that peace, Wayne practiced his battle skills at every opportunity. Was that the girl from before? Six months later? Excuse me, sir. Second Squadron Chief Byron reporting. I have selected the members to fill the vacancies in your squadron. They are to begin their duties immediately. I'm Charlone Claudius. What a name. Charlone Claudius. Oh, she is a waifu. Why is he looking at me like that? Though she's a female, her exam score surpassed that many of the male cadets. And also, I know who Hans is. Well, never mind. I'm confident she will be an asset to your squadron. Treat her as such. And here we have 
Hans Baron, at your service. Congrats. Don't let this manner fool you. His academic scores were poor, but his practical skills exam was nothing short of astonishing. Sir, I'll do my best in your service. You've definitely given me something to work with here. Again. Ah, yes, well then, let's process the paperwork immediately. Wayne, you're excused. Take your new members and go. Yes, sir. Alright, so we don't have Maximilian anymore, and now we got these two. <laughs> so we meet again. Congrats on graduating. You did just as you said you would. Yeah, but I never guessed we'd end up in the same squad. I can't wait to get started. Uh, yeah, me neither. This is gonna be the greatest adventure of my life. I just know it. Adventure or not, you need to take the assignment seriously. I don't wish to end up cold because you were having too much fun to defend our position adequately. Alright, that's enough. Let's go. Max. Yo, what's up, Max? Wayne, it's good to see you again. It's been some time. Who are your associates? Hans Baron. Wayne's right-hand man of action. <laughs> Aren't you the one we met on the Ruins mission? Yes, yeah, six months ago. I guess you really did join the army as you said you would. Impressive. Thanks. When you're, when are you joining us? We're heading out right now. I won't be joining you. I left the military once Wayne and I completed our training. What? Why? My work lies in the world of politics and diplomacy. Diplomacy, words. Max? Are you Maximilian Schneider? Yes, I am. Your reputation precedes you. I've heard that you're an exceptionally gifted politician. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, don't say such things. For you put me in danger of a, shall a swelled head. I was gonna say shallow. Well, I do apologize, but I must be going. I was on the way to tend to other businesses when we crossed the path here. Paths here, words. Of course. Well, good seeing you again, Max. Take care. Wow, a politician. Uh, what do they do, exactly? They struggle to run the kingdom and resolve disputes before war breaks out. It's difficult work, but I'm certain Max is up to the task. Six months later, so it's been a whole year? Wayne! Is Wayne here? I was not expecting this much of a time skip. Yes, sir! Hans, you too. What is it, sir? Minister Schneider has summoned you. Summoned? Yes, he has an urgent task for you. He requests two or three members from our squadron. Minister Schneider makes a request of us. We are to comply at once. So hurry to his office. I understand, sir. We'll go at once. Good. But your party's not complete yet. Apprentice Knight Charlon Claudius. Yo, let's go. The waifu's here. Did you call, sir? You are to go with Wayne as an attendant. Me? What, are you hard of hearing now? Yes, you. This request came directly from Minister Schneider. We can't refuse it. What are you waiting for? Go! Oh, you're a villain? <sighs> Kids these days. Like pulling teeth to get them to do anything. Man, everyone's a villain in this game. This guy and then Wolfgang. I wonder if we'll see Wolfgang again. We've got a kid who can barely add two and two, wanting to be a knight. And a girl who thinks her family connections guarantees her knighthood. They're nothing but pustules on my posterior. If they are accidentally lost in the line of duty, it will only make my job easier. Oh, Chief Byron, just you wait. Minister's office. Minister Schneider, the members of the second squadron you requested have come. Ah, show them in at once. Very well, sir. Please, right this way. Wayne Cruz, Hans Berendt, and Charlone Claudius, reporting as requested, sir. Thank you all for coming. You needn't be so formal, Wayne. This is actually a meeting between friends. Yes, but you are a minister now, and I'm merely a commissioned officer. Your dedication to the rights of duty is unflinching. But just for today, 
Humor me and let's have an informal meeting. I desperately need a break. I'm drowning in formality in this position. Okay, but only because you requested it. I must admit that I missed the philosophical discussions we had in the Academy. By the way, are you the only ones who were sent in response to my request? I had asked that at least two or three squads be sent. That's at least ten soldiers. Hmm, that's not what Commander Byron told us. Hmm, Commander Byron, huh? Nonetheless, he knew that I was asking for at least ten soldiers. I made that clear. But why would he only send three? Isn't it obvious, sir? The squadron chief was sending us out to be killed. Oh wow, well, you figured it out. What? But why? We we didn't do anything wrong. Uh, did we? Well, I know he's tired of your incessant idiotic questions. And I think he's jealous of Wayne and me. <sighs> this is not the first time he's done such a thing. I just don't know what to do with that selfish man. However, this may actually be an opportunity of sorts for you three. We're gonna become JRPG protagonists. Because everything is done by younger people these days, like young teens. If you can accomplish the task of ten men with only three, people would surely speak well of you. It could help your careers. Ah, oh, I see what you're saying. I'd be on my way to becoming an Imperial Knight, proving my worth. Achieving such a feat certainly can't hurt your chances. If you survive. In any case, let me explain what's involved. A mysterious armed band has been appearing in and around Rottenbaum Village, near the border of Ranzak Kingdom. Bandits? All we know is that they are heavily armed and armored, and have been attacking and pillaging villages. Perhaps their mercenaries gone bad? That seems the most plausible explanation. It is not uncommon for mercenaries released from service after a war to indulge their criminal impulses. In fact, the villages near Rottenbaum have hired guards for protection. It is a serious situation. Yes. If a citizen's kingdom cannot protect them, allegiance is lost. Nothing good could come of that. Precisely. Though it is isolated, we cannot ignore this situation. I would therefore like you to investigate it at once. Understood. We leave for Rotten Bomb immediately. Oh, and one more request. This one of a personal nature. What is it? If the investigation concludes quickly, I would like you to stop by the Magic Academy. Magic Academy? Yes, I have requested books from their collection for my studies. I would appreciate it if you would bring them back. I see. Consider it done. If there are any further developments here, I shall send my messenger. I shall see you soon, I'm certain. I leave these tasks to you now. Good luck. Wait, the minister made arrangements to provide for your expenses during this campaign. However, before you depart, please make use of the Kingdom Archives to conduct research that can aid you. Our archive isn't as extensive as the Magic Academies, but it should still contain useful information. We wish you success. Good luck. Now I'm really glad I turned on all those save, by the way, because of the whole crashing thing we have. Receive funds from Minister Schneider for the journey to the Magic Academy. Oh, 500 Elm, I think is what the currency is called. Uh, alright, alright. So we have Charlone and Hans here. Didn't I get gems? I thought I got some gems from those encounters, or maybe I have to do something. Oh, you have, um, HP recovery and ground shield. Or maybe I have to, like, bring the gems somewhere. Yeah, 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 let's do this. The shop, maybe. The ring artisan? Enter the shop. Oh, here we go. I don't understand any of this. <laughs> this gives me strength. Equip that ring. Okay, so you need to equip them via the shop. That makes sense. Somewhat. Um, I don't know. Let's give you... Fence. Okay, it's, I see. It's only one ring and you can do it like that. What about armor? Can I buy anything? Uh, I can get you soft leather. Equip this to Wayne. It was like most of the elm I just purchased, but I mean, maybe we can do some fights. If I can find a way to do some fights. A fur coat for Hans. That's like all the elm, but it's probably fine. Where are we going? They said to go here. Rodenberg. Rodenberg Village. 